All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And today, we're gonna talk about how to pick corner pins and what strategy you should be using to pick your seven and 10 pins. Stay tuned. So I think it's safe to say that we've all struggled with our corner pins from time to time, no matter what level of skill you are. Uh, but these struggles could be because of the actual strategy are you using. So today we're going to talk about the strategy you should be using to pick your corner pins. Uh, the first part of the strategy is the actual ball that you use. Uh, we would suggest using a plastic ball or a urethane ball, some ball that is designed to go straight. Uh, this is because we want to take the lane out of play um, and have a consistent reaction. So no matter what center you're bowling on, uh, what lane pattern you're bowling on, you know that your ball is going to go straight and that's a reliable reaction that you can count on. Now we like to use our reactive ball uh, to basically take all of our rotation out, deaden our hand and go straight at them. Uh, however, this does take skill, practice to develop this release. So if you don't have the time to put in the practice, just use a plastic ball, perfectly fine. Uh, it's gonna get the job done. So now that we know what kind of ball that we wanna use, Brad, uh, what strategy do we use or how do we line up to pick our seven pins and our 10 pins? Well, there's a couple things to take in consideration. First of all, as a right-hander, the 10-pin strike and as a left-hander, a 7-pin, it applies the same uh, because our rotation is going away from the pin. So the two things that we have to take into consideration is where the, where the hook is and where the gutter is. Um, the hook develops on the farther right side of the lane, especially on house shots. Um, so what we want to do is we want to get away from that. Why? Because our rotation, when it sees that friction, it wants to go naturally away from the 10 pins. So what we need to do is we need to get away from the friction, we need to get in the oil, which is in the middle part of the lane, right. that way it'll allow our ball to go into the 10 pin without seeing friction. Um, and what that also does is it gets you away from the gutter as well. If you're standing up there and you need to, you need to pick a 10 pin to win a game or shoot 800 or some, some achievement, uh, you don't want that gutter looking you in the face. You want to get away from it. Uh, so, so moving far left and going cross lane gets you in the oil um, and it gets you away from the gutter because of the rotation when it sees a friction and wants to go away from the friend. So Kyle, can you, uh, can you show us how to yeah. do this real quick? Yeah, let's try this. And by the way, guys, this, this strategy applies to right-handers and left-handers yeah. alike. We just yeah. come from the right-hander perspective, obviously. So I'm going to try my first shot here. We're going to throw up the lane and demonstrate what happens when... And this is a burn-up house shot, so there's plenty of friction. This is a good... Plenty of friction. I'm going to try to go... I'm going to try to kill my hand and just go straight up the lane at the spare with my reactive ball. Yeah, not a whole lot of margin for error there. Now obviously there aren't many people who throw it there but just to prove the point that right. being on top of the friction while trying to shoot spares is a difficult thing because friction is uncontrollable. Yeah that was, ex I mean I, that was pretty much how, like I had no rotation on that yes. ball but the ball just picked up immediately, doesn't want to stay online with the 10 pin. Now if you were to do that same thing yeah. and just move really far left and allow the oil to take it down the lane yeah, so let's give it should be better. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the same release, except I'm gonna stand where I normally stand for a ten pin. And I'm just gonna keep everything the same. But like Brad just said, use that oil to just let that ball slide down the lane. I gotta remember where I look at here. You actually missed left on that. Yeah, I missed left on that. I thought I was going to miss it, but you could, t like, as you can see, I have more miss room. I'm away from the gutter. Um, I have miss room left and right, and that oil just made the ball slide down the lane. Yep. Now, when we're talking about seven pins, seven pins are a little bit different story because on the ten pin side, the rotation's going away from the pin. Right. Well, the seven pin side, the rotation's going toward the pin. Um, so you get, in theory, that's why a lot of people like to hook at their left side spares because yeah. the friction just takes it into it. It's pretty easy. And if you hook at your left side spares, that's fine. Um, but there's not always lane patterns that have friction. Sometimes we bowl on patterns that there are not. Your yeah. ball doesn't like to hook and, at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but along the same lines, we want to get on the other side of the lane because going straight at the pin, that gutter staring at your face on the left side. So we want to get away from the left side gutter and still same principle, kind of let the ball slide into the seven. Right, so let's give this a go here, get a full rack. But yeah, I mean, when you start bowling on different patterns, you know, when you're bowling on the house shot and you know, like, you know, night in and night out, this is how much hook is on the lane. Yeah. I have a, I know what I'm gonna get out of my ball. It's easy to hook at those seven pins, but when we bowl on, you know, 52 feet of oil, 
Good luck trying to get that ball to hook. Yeah, yeah Same exactly. thing when we bowl on short patterns, 30 feet of oil. Uh, you know, that ball is hooking uncontrollably. So it's really hard to dial in, okay, how do I hook at that seven pin? Now we can just throw straight at them. Yeah, your, your, chat, your strategy has to change from pattern to pattern, yeah. and, that, and that's tough and to do. And now we're keeping the same strategy. So what I like to do here, you know, we're going cross lane again. I line up over on the right side of the lane. I'm looking at about fourth arrow, just angling my body toward the seven pin, still killing my release. Right there. Now that applies on almost anything. And even though that's a reactive ball, if this was a really short pattern, 35 foot pattern, that ball's still going to slide because of how dead you were with your wrist. Yeah, I mean, I still put a little bit of rotation on it. And I mean, that's a brand new reactive ball and you can see it, it just goes straight down the lane. And that's the consistent straight reaction that you should be looking for uh, when shooting your corner pins. All right guys, thank you for watching the video and remember, get away from that gutter and that hook spot on the lane, get into the middle of the lane and let that oil take your ball to the pin. Make sure you guys check us out on Patreon for some additional coaching tips, uh, other footage. Check us out on InsideBowling.com for all of our merch, Instagram. See you guys later. See ya.